Let's dive in and look at a slope and deflection calculation example. In this video, we are going to look at a cantilever beam with a point load at the end. First, we will derive the slope and deflection equations and then we will calculate the slope and deflection at the free end of this cantilever beam. We are going to use the differential equation of elastic curve to calculate the deflection and slope. Let's call this equation 1. If you want to know how to develop this equation, then please click on this YouTube card here or follow the link in the description box below to the video where I explain how to develop this equation in detail. If we take this as our xy plane, then the bending moment m for any given x value, we can simply write that the bending moment m is equal to minus fx. Let's call this equation 2. Cantilever beam will be subjected to a hogging bending moment with a deflection something similar to this ruler. Therefore, this bending moment is minus fx. If you would like to know more about the typical sign convention, please click on this YouTube card here or follow the link in the description box below. It is obvious that equation 1 is equal to equation 2 because both equations are written for bending moment m. So we can write If we integrate this equation with respect to x, then we can write we can rewrite this as c1 is a constant and let's call this equation number 3. If we integrate equation 3 with respect to x, we can write we can rewrite this as c2 is a constant and let's call this equation number 4. Now we can use the boundary conditions to find C1 and C2 constants. If I draw the deflected shape of this beam, it would be something similar to this. Now let's look at the boundary conditions. When X is equal to L, there is no deflection because this support is a fixed support. Therefore we can write When x is equal to L, y deflection is 0. And also when x is equal to L, the gradient or the slope of this deflected beam is 0 again because of this fixed support. So we can write... If you would like to know why slope is equal to dy over dx, or the first derivative of y with respect to x, then please click on this YouTube card here or follow the link in the description box below. If we plug these values into equation number 3, then we can write basically the slope here is 0 and x become L and we get this equation. If we rearrange this equation, we get C1 is equal to FL square over 2. Now let's plug in C1 into equation number 3. Then we get this is our slope equation. 
then let's plug these boundary conditions and C1 into equation number four, which is this equation. We get y becomes zero, x becomes l, c1 becomes f l square over two, x becomes l again. We can rewrite this equation as therefore constant c2 is equal to now we can substitute C1 and C2 in this equation number four. We simply plug C1 from here and C2 from here. If we rewrite this equation, we get This is our slope equation. Now let's calculate the slope and deflection at the free end of our cantilever beam where x is equal to zero. Using slope equation we can write therefore slope at the free end of our cantilever beam is equal to now we can use the deflection equation and we can write this is equal to Therefore, deflection at the free end of our cantilever beam is equal to Just to recap what we've done in this video first we derive the slope and deflection equations and Then we calculated the slope and deflection at the free end of our cantilever beam If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel if you have any questions about the video, please post your questions in the comment section and I will see you all in my next video.